Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this algebraic equation, which is actually really hard. So we have x minus 4 to the power 4 is equal to x to the power 4. And we want to find our value of x. Now, the first thing I'm going to do from my equation x minus 4 is equal to x to the power 4 is I'm going to divide, I'm going to subtract, sorry, both sides by x to the power 4. So then these two will cancel out and I will be left with x minus 4 to the power 4 minus x to the power 4 is equal to 0. Now x minus 4 to the power 4, this is the same thing as x minus 4 squared to the power of 2. And this is because if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this can be written as a to the power of m to the power of n. In this case, this, this a, this was equal to 2 times 2, because 4 is equal to 2 times 2. So I wrote this as a to the power of 2 to the power of 2. So now, as you see, I have something now, sorry, x minus 4 squared to the power of 2 minus, now I'm going to rewrite x to the power of 4 as x squared to the power of 2. So now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, I have x minus 4 squared to the power of 2 minus x squared to the power of 2. a would equal x minus 4 squared, and b is equal to x squared. So now I have a plus b. So x minus 4 squared plus x squared times a minus b. So x minus 4 squared minus x squared. And this is equal to 0. Now, x minus 4 squared here, this is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 16. So I have this plus x squared times, again, x minus 4 is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 16. This time I have minus x squared is equal to 0. Now, x squared plus x squared is 2x squared, so now I have 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 times x squared minus x squared, these two will cancel out, so I'll be left with negative 8x plus 16, and this is equal to 0. Now, this gives me two equations. I have 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0, and I also have negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. Now, for negative 8x plus 16 equals 0, I'm going to first subtract 16 on both sides. So now, this will give me negative 8x is equal to negative 16. Now, I'm going to divide net by negative 8 on both sides. So, these two cancel out, and I'll have x is equal to negative 16 over negative 8, which is equal to 16 over 8, which is equal to 2. So, x is equal to 2. Now, for this equation right here, I'm going to first factor out 2 from this because all of these terms, the greatest factor, the greatest common factor of all these terms is 2. So now I have 2 times 2x squared divided by 2 is simply x squared. Negative 8x divided by 2 is negative 4x plus 16 divided by 2 is 8. And this is equal to 0. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 2. These still cancel out. And I'll be left with x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0 divided by 2 is 0. Now, to solve this, I'm going to be using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. In this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 4, and c is equal to 8. 
So now I have x is equal to negative b, so negative negative 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So negative 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 8. Now I have this over 2a, so 2 times 1. So now, this can be simplified to x is equal to negative of negative 4. Well, a negative of negative is obviously going to be a positive. So this is positive 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared. That's negative times a negative, negative 4 times negative 4. So that's going to be positive 16 minus. Now, 4 times 1 is simply 4, and 4 times 8 is 32. So I have 32 over 2 times 1, which is 2. Now, x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 32. That is going to be negative 16. So I have 16 over 2. Now, well, 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 16, this is the same thing as 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 times positive 16 over 2. And this is the same thing as 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 16 over 2. Well, the square root of negative 1 is actually equal to the imaginary number i. So now, i of x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16i over 2. Now the square root of 16, that is equal to 4. So now I have 4 plus or minus 4i over 2. Now if I divide 2, I get x is equal to 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I have 2 plus or minus 4i over 2 is 2i. So x is equal to 2 plus 2i. So my three solutions for x are, if you go back here, x is equal to 2, x is equal to 2 plus 2i, and x is equal to 2 minus 2i. So these are my three solutions for x. And make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment out any questions or video ideas that you guys have.